Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own custom missed call text back automation and go high level. I'll be going through the steps and giving you details on how it works. So just stay tuned and well, let's get on it. All right, guys, so let's get this party started. First, what we're going to do is we're going to go to your settings to disable the missed call text back that go high level um, puts on automatically. Right. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to business profile here. Oh, sorry. Guys, I messed up. You didn't even see where I was able to click. I'm going to show you now. Oh, right here. This is it. You go to settings here. And then from there, you come up here. Oh, back. I'm back. Guys, I'm trying to get used to um, navigating my little setup here to help you guys see even better later. So right now, it's just kind of getting good. So we're coming down here. And um, got to make sure this here is unchecked. That means do not check mark it. We're not going to use a default one. We're going to create our own workflow for the reasons I mentioned earlier. OK, so once we have that done, you make sure you save your settings and then we're headed to the automations tab, guys. Let's go. Let's go. We'll be out of here. Coming down to the automations tab and we're going to start from scratch. OK, now there's a lot of different little templates here you can start off, but I'm going to show you the way that I set up Miss Call Text back for myself. So the way that, you know, everybody kind of has different ideas. So maybe you can get something from mine that you can connect with yours or add to yours. So we click on start from scratch here. And then um, the first part is we're going to work on the trigger, right? So for the trigger, we're going to, it's going to be a call, call status, right? And we're going to add a couple filters here. So the way that we're going, the way that it works is somebody calls in and then we're going to try to filter out for the call and direction. And this what means is like if the call's incoming or it's outgoing. And in this case, it's going to be missed call text back. So people are calling in and we're not getting the call. So it's incoming. And then we add another filter here. And then on this one, we set up the call status and then we'd get to decide what what are the variables that will trigger this missed call text back workflow. So in this case, it's going to be um, we didn't answer voicemail or we're busy and you can put whatever else you think you may be. But I mean, not completed because completed means the call went through. So definitely not that and canceled. I believe it means somebody was calling and they kind of hung up themselves. Right. Then we have to um, add the number pool for this particular account. I don't have a phone number, but you would be able to choose your phone number here and phone number and then you can choose your phone number there. So we go ahead and save the trigger here on the bottom right. Make sure you save your shit because if you make changes and you don't do this, you just click to the left here, it'll, it won't save it. And then on the top right here is to save. I like to save guys when you're doing your stuff, just save whenever you do a little step, just, I don't know, whatever, but okay. Now let's move on to the next step. Now the next step is we're going to create a little wait time here because we want them when they do call that it doesn't feel like a robot. So we're going to probably give it like a half a minute here. 0.5 right there. Save it. Come on, guys, get used to save. It. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the if the if else trigger. And this trigger is going to be primarily the way that we solve the problem of when somebody calls and they get the missed call text back. And then they call 20 minutes later and they get another one. And then they, if they keep calling, they'll keep getting a missed call text back. So what this is going to do is that if someone's come through this workflow here, what's going to happen is that it's going to throw them out of the workflow because we're going to filter out with the tag. But anyways, look, let's, let's get it done now. So we're going to go ahead and add a tag here. Um, actually add an action and it's going to be if else you can always scroll down here, but I like to, um, actually like to search makes it quicker so if else and so we're going to call it 24 hour reset because after 24 hours it'll allow them to come back into this workflow again and get the missed call text back but once they come through it once it's going to throw them out so 24 hour reset is pretty much what we're going to going to do and the first branch is going to be yes they're going to come through here and we'll set that we'll set up the logic as to who it's going to allow in here and then the nunch brand is going to be out. Get out of here, guys. Let's get out of here. So 
The condition is going to be contact details and we're going to filter out for a tag. The tag is going to not include um, the missed call text back. If you haven't created it, you can create it here. You might have to click save and then reopen it if it doesn't show up for you. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hit save here. All right, so this is a little breakdown here of how like it works so far so you can get, get, get a better understanding of how the if else works, at least with these triggers. So basically they're going to call, right? So it's going to go here. Nobody's going to answer. And then it's going to wait half a second or half a minute, <laughs> half a minute. And then it's going to go through this um, trigger thing that we set up here, right? And as you can see here, it's going to see, hey, do they have this tag miss call text back? And since it's the first time they've come through, they do not have the tag. So then it's going to allow them to go through this window here, which is here. Once we go through there, it asks, it adds a tag that says miss call text back. As you can see here. And basically, if they call again, they'll come right back again. They'll, they'll wait again and then it'll go through the if else and then it'll see do they have the tag that says miss call text back and if they do if it does it's going to shoot them out this way and that's how we protect it from getting people that are getting repeated messages so yeah that's the first part guys and now let's move on to the next part all right so now we're going to add another if else and this particular if else function is going to be to identify the days that it's open so we're going to maybe name it something like opened closed days and then maybe the first branch is open days and then the none branch which is going to be once it takes them out of there is going to be um, closed which in this case it can be like let's say you're open it could be you're open um, the weekdays and then closed weekend and the way that we're going to filter out on this particular um, if else is we're going to filter by date time. That's going to be what's going to make it go to this branch. So date time, current day of the week, we're going to say it is this. And here there's a little quick one for the weekday. So you just set it up weekday here and any day that falls on the weekday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. It'll make it go through this way. And if it's not, it'll go through that way, which would be pretty much out of here. So the way that we um, now that we have that done. We're going to create another if else function, right? And this particular one is going to be to filter out the hours of the days, right? So we're going to do another one that way. If they call and it's between the work hours, it sends them a certain message. And if they call and it's after hours, it sends them a certain message. So two different ones. One of them is like, hey, we're busy, but we're we're open. And the other one is like, hey, we're closed. So the way we create the next one is we do another if else function here. And then we're going to just put it open, closed, and then maybe hours. So we know. And then the first branch can be open hours. And then the, the other branch can be closed hours and what we're going to do here to pretty much filter out for when it's open is we're going to put daytime current hour here and we're going to go to is after because let's say we open at eight o'clock i'm trying to make it as general as i can for you guys so we set 8 a.m so as long as it's after eight so eight or after actually is on is at eight or after that's how we do it okay boom so is on or after 8 a.m and then the other condition that we're going to do is going to be is before so we're going to go here and then we're going to add another condition and then we're going to put current we're going to go to daytime go back to the hour here and then we're going to put is before, right? And let's say it's like a traditional business. They close at five as long as it's before five o'clock. And so we go ahead and we save it. And the way that's going to work is that once they come through here, it's going to check, hey, are we open? And if we are, 
it'll shoot them through here and if we're not it'll shoot them out through here so now the next part which is pretty much the last part already guys so if you made it this far congratulations now we're just going to add that missed call text back the actual sms along with an internal notification that way you know hey somebody called like follow up with these people because you know if you don't follow up they get cold and they're gone so let's get moving to the next part this is it guys finally after all this shit, we made it to the where we add the missed call text back the actual text so we hit the add an action here we search for sms and um, we're gonna do send sms right and then you, the message that you want to send may be something like hi this is dom with my my shit.com i'm currently unavailable let me know or maybe you can leave it like an open and it's questions wait hey, do you have any questions about it of our services whatever this is where you can kind of get creative so you can get people to actually message you back. This has worked for me, so you can always try it out. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit save here. And then now after that part, we're gonna go ahead and put a notification. That way when somebody does call, oh, let's name it. Miss call text back for work hours. Hit save right there, right? And then we're going to go ahead and an internal notification that way when somebody calls and we miss it it shoots us either a notification or you can kind of do whatever you want you can actually make it even send you a text message so go here and then here email is it'll actually send you an email um, notification means through your go high level app or your lead connector app and then sms is you can shoot it at a phone number i just do the notification and it's like hey someone called get back to them ASAP or lose your money whatever right like lose your chance lose your chance to help someone with your product or service whatever something to remind you to get 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 on the ball and call these people right so you can set it to redirect you to the conversation or to the contact page probably if you want to call them it'll probably be the contact or maybe the conversation so you can see like what y'all last talked about you can hit that and then you can choose your all the users or assigned user i don't have a user here so there's nothing here but you would if you have a user in your account you'd be able to select who here all right so then that part is done oh um missed call right so we're gonna name it the title save it and then now oh, select the user right so look we're gonna have to put all users so it doesn't mess up with us okay so now that we have the internal notification set up we're gonna do a wait time right and this wait time here this basically it's gonna wait like i'm gonna set it for 24 hours that way when um somebody comes through here it keeps them there for 24 hours and then after that we're gonna put remove tag right remove contact tag and what this is going to do is that we're going to get it to remove that missed call text back after 24 hours that way if they call after 24 hours it'll let them go through this flow again and you can change that to whatever you want if you can put it a week you can put it three days you can decide here on this wait time area there's days you can put, hey, I want to wait seven days before somebody calls and they'll start getting missed call text message again. So it's up to you. And save that. And we're pretty much done. I'm going to show you a quick way to finish the rest of the part, like how to connect the, the messages for the closed weekends. Actually, let's just do it right now. So what we'll do here is we can copy this, right? copy all actions from here because essentially we're going to want the same action so we can copy it here and then we can paste it here right and we can go in here and then we can change this to um 
after hours, right? And we can change this to like, hey, we aren't currently open. We are our hours. And then you can tell me your hours operation. Our hours of operation are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday. Um, shoot me a quick message. A quick message. Oh, we can help. And I'll get back to you. Right. And then you just hit save. And then you can kind of keep the same thing here. Right. Hey, someone called. Call them ASAP. Maybe you can change it. It's the, hey, someone called, but it's the weekend. Or maybe you just work 24 hours and you just whatever. It's whatever you do, guys. Customize it however you want. So you go ahead and you hit save here. And then now what we can do here is since you see, we have this close that they call it'll come down here and it won't do anything. We can either copy the same thing here, doing it this way, copy, and then you can paste it there, or you can go here and then we can go to the go to, right? And what that does is we save the action and it lets us shoot where we're gonna go, right? We're gonna go here. That way if they call on the weekends, it'll shoot it out through here. And we don't have to rebuild this out because essentially it's like after hours. So it's kind of the same thing. It'll save you a little bit of time. And then now let me just kind of give you a rundown of how kind of all of it works. And that's it, we're done. Oh, and also don't forget, name your workflow. Miss call text back. Okay, and all right. All right, so in a nutshell guys, this is how, oh shit, you guys can't even see me. I'm here guys, I'm here. Your guide is here. So anyways, um, let's see. So this is basically the, the guy calls, they call, no one answers. Then it waits here for about half a minute. And then it comes through here, the if else function, remember? And then from here it checks, have they been through here yet? If they have, it shoots them out, right? And if they haven't, it runs them down here. And it knows that because it checks if it has a tag, it doesn't let them through here. And that tag is the one that we added here. So then it comes down through here and then it checks. Oh, let's see here. And then it checks, hey, what day is it? Is it the weekday? If it's the weekend, it goes here. If it's the weekday, it goes here. Right. And then it goes down here and it checks, hey, what what hours is it though? Are they open or closed? If we're open, it shoots them here and then it runs down this flow. And this is basically the one about, hey, we're open, but we are not available. And then this one here is like, hey, we're closed. Leave me a message. I'll get back to you when we're open. And basically these two loop back here. So basically this one, if we're closed, it'll shoot them this message on the weekends and if you're closed after hours it'll shoot them through here so yeah that's pretty much it in a nutshell guys now you just have to make sure you save it you publish it do a little quick test i can never stress enough to test your stuff to make sure it actually is working properly and um that's pretty much it thank you so much for for sitting through this and hopefully you learned something and if you have any comments or maybe you have something helpful you can share make sure to leave it down in the comments below thank you